Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over all of my attacking attachments in Rainbow Six Siege. I'm going to start up on Sledge here, and I'm going to go all the way through all five of these rows, down to the newest operator, Ram. Apparently she's part of the 35th Commando Battalion. I did not know that, but you learn something new every day. Really quick before we jump into this, I'll show you my settings too, just in case. If you guys didn't get those in my settings video I did. Um, I use 84 FOV, so the recoil looks a little bit worse than if it was on 90. 90 is like easy mode for recoil, but 84 is better in gameplay wise. I use 65 brightness too, if that matters. For controls, I use 55 80 for my vert in horizontal. I still use 12 5 dead zones, but you could turn those down to zero now if you wanted. I just feel comfortable on these with my old controller because I had stick drift. I switched to a new one and I still just use these because it feels right. But that's personal preference. I use disabled for advanced options, all set to zero. ADS 25, 29, 33 for the main scopes. 36 for the ACOG, I guess. And then the rest if you want those. But let's jump into these. So let's go right up here to Sledge. I'm in the stadium uh, shooting range or whatever right here. Just so I can show you my recoil on each gun. To show you it actually like works, you know. Obviously that has something to do with me as a player, but... If I can do it, anybody can do it, I guess, in theory. And that's what you're here for. You want to get my attachments. 20, so it's a little bit more of a challenge. And I'll go, like, as close as I can. So we're 20 meters. Yeah, that looks good. I don't really care where I'm shooting on the thing. I'm not going for, like, the middle. I'm just, like, spraying around to show you what it looks like. On Sledge, I'm using the 1.5 Suppressor Vert Grip. I think this is what you should be running. If not suppressor, though, flash hider. I just use that because there's not much recoil, I feel like. So might as well just add that on there. If there was extended barrel, I'd probably use that. But that's my sledge loadout. I use muzzle brake and lasers for all pistols, by the way. Just ahead of time. Because if you have a laser on your pistol, it's not like you're giving your location away. Your pistol's out. They probably know where you are. The Thatcher, I actually use something different. I use the 2X. So I use the flash hider instead of the silencer. I'll show that one. There's that. Obviously, you can see the flash hider. That thing has no recoil at all, but either way, good loadout. Ash, I use the G3 with the 1.5 suppressor. I use the same gun on Yana. Um, with their R4C, I use Hollow A flash hider. I'll show you that one first, then I'll show you the G3. I haven't used this gun in a while with the, uh, the Hollow. I've been liking it on the new operator, though, on Ram. Yeah, there's, there's the recoil. Literally a dot's like... You can, like, see no spread right there on that one. That's crazy. Either way, though, let's do the G3. Okay, here's the G3. I love this thing with the suppressor vert grip. You can put the angle grip on there if you want, but I don't really see the point. It's not like ADS is too much faster anyway. This has, like, no recoil, though, either way. I mean, none of these guns have so far. Thermite. I use the 2x flash hider vert grip, but I don't really play thermite too much, to be honest. Not too bad. A little bit more bouncy, because again, I don't use him, so I don't really practice his gun. I only play thermite like once in a blue moon. But not too bad still. Look at the setup, though. I love the gun skin with the attachment skin. With Twitch, I do love this gun. I use the 1.5 and the extended barrel. Um, this might be too much for the for most players, to be honest, so I'd recommend the flash hider, but I'm built different, so I use the extended. And there's that one. As you can see, still no recoil, pretty much like the others, even with this. I'm kind of insane with this gun, what can I say? Um, with Montan, I just use the same thing on my pistol. I use the PN, or the, the P9, not the PN. And yeah, there's nothing to really show on that one. For glass, I use the Reflex B Muzzle Vert. And on the bearing, I use a Hollow A and Flash. So I'll show you both these. Let's see how fast I can shoot it on this one. I mean, I don't think you can shoot it faster than the average person. Like, this one has a fire limit, I feel like. But yeah, not too bad at all. It's weird, you can actually like see the dots if you aim in. It's weird. And here's the bearing. That gun has no recoil, honestly. It's a really good secondary to have. You can even use it as a primary if you need. Up close. BU is one of the best guns in the game. 
I use ACOG because it's still available on this gun. I don't really play Fuse too much though, but this gun is like one of the best in the game. So that's why I use the ACOG on it too. Like that's actually ridiculous. This gun doesn't have recoil. Let me go up here so I can see it a little better. Like what is that? Until the end when I stop controlling it. Like that right there. No recoil on this gun. Even with the ACOG on there. I also use the PMM. For Blitz, same thing as Montaigne. Nothing to really show. IQ, I use the 552 with a 1.5 extended. This thing has 52 damage with extended barrel on. Usually if it has extended barrel, I'm going to run it. Unless it doesn't make a big difference with like time to kill. But this one I feel like does. Now you can kill three speeds and two hits if you're close enough. And the G8, I run Hollow A with angle grip. Hog, I use that, but I don't really use those guns on IQ. I just use the 552 when I play her. And I'll show you this one. Very low recoil gun right there. Yeah, this thing has nothing. This gun's really good. One of the best in the game for sure. For Buck, I use the 1.5 Flash. I do love Buck. I always play as C8. I never play the cameras. I still have the ACOG on there even. And then I use the Gon 6 as well. If they have a Gon 6, I'm probably going to be running it unless it's Dokabi. So, just ahead of time. There's Buck. You can run the extended barrel if you want, but he's a little bit more jumpy. I just prefer the flash hider because I'm a headshot player, so I just try to aim for the headshots anyway. But sometimes I do switch to extended barrel either way. Blackbeard, I don't really run him, but when I do, I'd run the SR-25. I feel like the time to kill is faster than this gun. This gun's fire rate's so bad, and the damage is so higher on this. I use the 2x with the muzzle. Because if I'm playing BB for some reason, I'm probably holding some long angles with that shield up. I haven't used this gun in probably years, if I'm going to be real. But it's not too bad at all. I feel like that wasn't too bad. Capital, I use 1.5 extended vert grip. Same thing as Brava. Um, there's my attachments for the M2 if you want to see. I don't really run that though, I run the Para. This gun is also like quite the laser beam. There you go right there. Even with extended barrel, it's a laser, so I'd run that for the 52 damage, kind of like IQs. Habana, I run 1.5 flash vert grip, nothing fancy there at all. Same thing with the bearing as glass. Shoot this thing off. I do love this gun, one of my favorites. If I had more ammo, it'd be like probably my favorite, but a little low on that department. But yeah, no recoil. Okay, on a Jackal, I use the C7 with a 1.5 flash, but the PDW is a good choice too. They're actually the same fire rate wise, so I'd run the C7. It's just the ammo difference for four damage, so that's up to you. If you feel like you're gonna potato, just run the PDW at that point. I'll show you the C7 though. Another laser beam of a weapon. One of my favorites in the game. I just don't use I don't use Jackal too much, but if I did, I'm probably gonna go off that round because this gun's amazing. Okay, Ying, I run the 1.5. I would run angle grip because I want to be able to ADS just a little bit faster since the LMGs are slow. And if I'm Ying, I'm probably rushing it off my candelas. So I do want to ADS quicker. So that's where I uh, that's why I run flash. And not like a suppressor or anything. And there's no extended option. And try 1.5 1, 1. over like the ACOG or the 2X. You're insane if you're running the ACOG on Ying. But who knows, maybe some people do. I'll show you that. I haven't used Ying in a while either, but... I mean, still no recoil even if I don't. This one's a bit more jumpy as you shoot, because LMGs are just that way. So it looks a little bigger, but that was 80 bullets. So, very good. Here's Ophia, I run the 1.5 flash vert. Sometimes I use angled. You might call me crazy for that. Angle with a 2x too. I switch back and forth a lot on my attachments. Here's the LMG. I haven't used this in a while. You can see my attachments are all messed up there. But I recommend the flash on this one, or actually the compensator in vert grip, because it has a lot of left and right. 
Here's the main gun, though. Not too bad, honestly. Sophia's is one of the bit more jumpy guns. That's why a lot of people don't like using her now. But if you can control the gun, it is good still. Very good weapon. For Dokabi, I use the angle grip just so I can ADS just a little bit faster again. Um, I feel like there's not any recoil anyways. It's not very jumpy at all when you spray it. So why not put the angled on there? And then for the SMG-12, one of my favorite secondaries in the game. Probably my favorite. I love using this gun, just running in and destroying people with it. Hollow A vert grip. I'll show you both these ones. I did not shoot that very fast there. Let me do that again. And there's the primary. See, no recoil even with the angle. And there's the SMG-12. Again, no recoil on this thing. I've practiced it so much at this point. Oh my god, I just noticed there's like a up close graph. So yeah, you can see Yang's down here is one of the bigger ones. Ophia, SMG-12. Very small still though. My recoil is just crazy. I feel like it's like top tier. Um, here's the Lion. I use the Suppressor Vert Grip 1.5. Kind of like a Yana or Ash with a G3. I like using the 1.5 suppressor combo. Feels nice when I use it. And there it is. This thing has no recoil. That was just me changing direction there. That wasn't even the bounce. I'll do it again to show you. Just like that. I also like this attachment skin I have on. Besides the point, though. Again, gone 6 on him. I think uh, I prefer to run the LMG 1.5 flash vert, but that's up to you. This gun's pretty good, too. I'll try the spear first. I don't really play Finca, though. It's been a bit since I played these weapons. Oh, yeah, this gun's actually not too bad. Okay, okay. Again, I haven't really played it since the nerf, even, but... Okay. You can see it took two tries, but when I did, this gun has no recoil, either. Wow. I'll have to keep that in mind. Maybe try some Finca out. Let me try the LMG. I like this skin too. Uh, shoot down here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm just build different because this is this should not be legal. I should not be able to control the LMG that good. What? Now that's insane. I promise I'm not Cronus. I promise. I would never cheat in this game. Or any game, but... Especially this one. So on Maverick, this is one of the best guns in the game too. I've said it a couple times, but there are some crazy guns on offense. I run the 2X extended barrel vert grip. It's kind of like the old Ash R4C, but with higher damage. A little lower fire rate, 750, but 49 damage is ridiculous on this thing. With a 2X, almost like the old ACOG. And you can see no recoil on this at all to speak of. That's what I'm saying, one of the best guns in the game right here. The stats and the recoil combined, and the scope, like so many factors. After a few tries, it's literally a dot for me. I'm saying literally a lot in this video, but I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> it's quite literal every time I say it. Okay, here's the AK, and then I'll show you the ARX. I run the ARX personally, but this gun's good too. I do like both. This one's a little bit more like random jumpy, but it's not too bad at all. Still very good, you can see. Shoot a few more. Yeah, very good gun. And here's the ARX with the 1.5 flash. The 2X is good on it too. I used to run ACOG on this gun on Nomad. I love doing that. I was like the pro flank watch for my uh, squad. Ooh, I like this skin setup I have too. And there's that one. No recoil. I was an ARX player on Yana before they took it away, too. I think everybody was, because the G3 didn't have a 1.5. Insanely good. Also one of my favorite weapons in the game. Gridlock, another really good gun. I'm going to keep saying that, I think. I run 1.5 Flash Hider. Yeah, Invert Grip. Extended Barrel is good, too, on it, though. Let me try that first. I'm pretty sure that's what I usually run. I haven't played it on my main in a bit. But on my solo IQ account, that's what I ran on at last. Yeah, I'd run extended barrel. It's still not very much at all. That's really good. 
Yeah, extended barrel for sure is the play here if you can control it. If not, just run the flash. Like I said, if extended is an option, I'm probably going to be running that or suppressor. Because I feel like it just gives you too much of an advantage to not. And I'm so good at recoil, like, why not? It's not like I'm losing out on anything. Because I can still control it. Um, here's Nook. I run the 1.5 suppressor. Again, if you don't feel comfortable with suppressor, just run flash. This gun does have quite the jumpy recoil. I just feel like Nook's fun with a suppressor because you're, like, sneaking up on people with the cams. Even more before. I haven't really played her much now since her nerf. Since she's not silent anymore and I can't ride around as good. But still fun. And uh, I'll shoot the gun right here. Oh, this is one of the more jumpy ones I've had uh, on attack in general. Yeah, you can see I've not played Nook recently, but it's still not bad. Let's do one more. Yeah, I just took a few tries, but... Again, nothing on there at all. Amaru, ooh, also one of my favorite guns. 50 bullets, 1.5 angle grip flash. And you can thank me later for that. And SMG 11, there's my loadout for that. You'll be seeing it a few more times. I usually run that, but if I need like hatches at the top of the roof or something on theme park, for example, then I'll run the shotgun. Mm, I'll probably just run Gone 6 over the SMG. Because it's nice having that to clear stuff by yourself. If you're solo queuing like I usually do on my videos. But either way, I'll show you the SMG-11 now. Since it's not on another attacker anyway. Um, here's this gun. I'll shoot it like down here. Like, this gun is ridiculous. They need to nerf this. Maybe not. They just need to nerf me. It was a little jumpy at first on that one, but that was just me, really. It's my fault. Kind of messed it up. There we go. It feels like a laser beam, though. This gun is insane. With so much ammo, you can just keep shooting and shooting. I'd really recommend angle grip on that, too, so you can ADS slightly faster. Since it's an LMG, kind of like I mentioned for Ying. Um, I use Cali with the SPS, whatever it's called. Somebody was just telling me about this weapon in the comments of my tier list video for my attackers. They were telling me Cali should be much higher than C. I could argue B, but I don't think she's better than that. Like, I was just practicing this gun in some death matches, and it's so bad. The ammo's so low. I feel like I kill somebody and I have to reload or I'm just dead. That is just deathmatch, though. You can position yourself good in real game, so I'll have to give it a try there, but... It is really good. It's the jumpiest gun by far for me. Like, I control the SMG 12 better than this. I guess after a couple sprays, it's good. As long as you don't spray like 20 bullets at a time, it is fine. If you shoot a lot at once, though, it's terrible. It gets so random and jumpy, like I can't even do anything. I guess not. It's not too bad. Well, that one was. Obviously, that's still really good, considering this gun is very bouncy, but... Probably my worst gun in the game. And I just feel like it's one of the worst guns. If you can hit your shots, so though, like, I usually can hit a headshot first before it starts getting too bouncy. It is really good, because the fire rate is... 30... or 980 on this gun. With a high damage of 36 for that kind of fire, right? Maybe I'll just take the extended barrel off. Run the comp on there for the horizontal. Let's see. I'm trying it out with you guys here. Okay, that's a little bit better. I guess since the damage is so hot or so high anyway already, you don't need the extended barrel. Yeah, you can just run this. I can really just spray that thing around. It gets a little jumpy still left and right. I don't know what that's about, but I'll take it. Like, right there, just, like, randomly jumps. You cannot control that. You fizzle, you can't. Like, I hate these kind of guns with a jumpy left and right. Like, I'm not doing anything there about that. And then sometimes it won't even do it, and sometimes it goes to the right. No, I'm just not a fan of this gun. I'll probably just run extended barrel. Like I said, in a real game, you can hit your headshots faster. You won't have to spray. As long as you don't spray more than, like, 10 or 12 bullets at a time, you'll be good. Um... With the Yana, we've already tried this gun for Ash, so I'll pass there. I guess I could show you the, uh, the ARX. It's just the same thing as Nomad with the Hollow A instead. But I'll always run the G3 on that. I'll show you Ace, why not? 1.5 instead of the ACOG like Fuse had. This gun is crazy. Look at the, <laughs> the damage that gun did to the board. It was so good before. Reminder. 
And there you go. No recoil on this gun. This gun is busted. I know I've said it a few times, but this gun's probably the best in the game. If I had to choose one. Okay, on Zero, it's kind of weird looking. I run angle grip. I run extended barrel and the 2x. It's a very strange combination when you just look at it like that. But it does 50 damage this way with extended. And the ADS actually isn't too bad for an assault rifle. It kind of competes with like the ADS of the MP7 almost to that level. That's why I run this gun over the MP7. 18 higher damage is ridiculous, that difference. And it only has 100 less fire rate, so not bad. 5 less bullets. And the ADS is almost on the level, like I said. So I'd recommend running this. And you get the 2x scope if you want that. And this one doesn't. But that's my loadouts for the MP7 too. And I'll show you this one. I do love this gun. One of my favorites. As you can see, no recoil on this. So that's why I run these attachments. And it does ADS pretty fast. Yeah. One of the best in the game right here for me. I do run it a lot though and I've practiced it a lot so maybe that helps. Also I love my loadout on there. The yellow doesn't quite match but still. Um, for Flores I run the 2x flash vert grip. You can also run the 1.5. I haven't really played Flores in a bit though. He's good though on like Oregon for the bunker obviously. Stuff like that. Very good gun. I do love his. Even if I don't run it much. If you wanted to run this on Thatcher, I wouldn't even mind because it's so good. I'll show you the PDW and OSA. That's what I run over this. I run the same attachments with Thermite, just the 1.5, I guess. Probably because I haven't ran it on OSA in so long, though. And then I run Extended on this gun because I feel like it doesn't have much recoil still, so why not? It's a little low on the damage side for attackers. It is a bit jumpier than most guns. It has the random factor to it, but it's not as bad as, like, Cali's gun was. And you have more ammo, too, to make up for it. You have 50 bullets on this one. So, very good gun here that Osa has. Like, if you just spray around like this, it's not too bad at all. Okay, let's try out Sense. I have not played this gun much, so... Let's see how this goes. There's my attachments for the 417 if you want them. That's another good choice. But I run the POF with the 1.5 extended barrel. Because again, the damage is a little bit lower for attackers on this one. Okay. Okay, let's see how this goes. I did a speed run for practice because I haven't used it so long. Okay, I've got it down now. Not bad at all. Kind of feels like Jaeger's old gun with a 1.5. Not his old gun, but when the recoil was at the water on that thing. Just with a 1.5 included too. Not too bad though. It gets a little random at first, but when you start pulling it down right, it gets easier. Like right there, that was a really good run. So yeah, his gun's not... So yeah, their gun's not too bad, I guess. You just gotta practice more with it. I don't, so... Going to be a little bit more off of that one. Oh, Grim also has one of the best guns in the game. 2x on the same thing IQ had. It goes really good. I don't play Grim much either. There's a lot of ops I don't really play. When you start playing them all in my solo queue videos, I'll do like challenges and stuff. Tell me if you want to see that. If you made it this far in the attachments video. If you have, comment banana down there for me. That'll make my day. Okay, there's Grim though. Brava, same thing as Capitao, so I won't go over her. And I run the Super Shorty, of course. You can be throwing if you don't. And also with my shotgun, since I'm not going to mention it in this video again. I'll mention it in defense one. But for this one, I just use laser sights for most of my shotguns. Either laser or with like the, the Reflex A, since it's the smallest, so it doesn't really take up your screen much. But you still can aim with it. And then I, I always know it's a shotgun when I have this. Because I don't use this for my other guns. So that's a good indicator. Just use something different you won't be using on your main gun. Especially if you're like a newer player. Obviously for me it doesn't matter. Because I always know what gun I have. But just an easy little difference. So you can switch faster in the moment you know. Um, and then last one we have Ram. The newest operator, so I'll show you her gun. I like using the 1.5 and the suppressor on the R4C. 
So I'll show you that. You can also run Flash Hydra though, that's my next choice. But I do like Suppressor on this gun. It reminds me of like the G3, but a little better because the fire rate's better. Look at that, that's so good. There's no recoil on this, and that's why I run the Suppressor basically. So good. You can practice doing that, by the way, for your spray transfers. So you can literally start one of these, make sure the infinite ammo is um, turned on. And then you can start shooting at all the walls and you never have to run out of ammo. Just start shooting, practice your spray transfers like that, and you'll be set. If you guys enjoyed this and want to see the part two, which is going to be the Defender's attachments that I have, I'll show you all my recoil again for every single weapon. Leave a like down there below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.